Hello. In this video I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called Solving an Absolute Value Inequality, Problem Type 1. We're asked to graph the solution of this inequality on a number line, and to do so we're going to want to drop the absolute value, and for this example I'm just going to concentrate on the procedure in a similar way that we solved whenever we had equalities with absolute value. In concentrating on procedure, we could have a few possibilities. The absolute value could be less than a positive number, which is what we have here. I'm going to label that an AND situation. And we could have the absolute value greater than a positive number. I'm going to call that an OR situation. And we know that dealing with negatives is always different when it comes to absolute values. So I'm going to say that an absolute value less than a negative that would mean that the absolute value is negative because the only way to be less than a negative is to still be negative. If we ever see this, that would be a no solution because I can't have an absolute value that's negative. The last possibility is we could have an absolute value greater than a negative number. Absolute values always take what's inside and make it positive, so an absolute value is always going to be greater than a negative value. So this would be all solutions. Anything you would plug into this situation would work. And if we keep these in mind, for this example I have an absolute value less than a positive. So this is going to be an AND statement. And what we mean here is that we can drop the absolute value and just have Y is less than or equal to 3 and the other half, the, the second half that happens whenever you have an absolute value, is I could still drop the absolute value, but I would change the direction of the inequality and make that a negative 3. So just like equalities, how I ended up with two sides, I still end up with two sides, and for an AND statement, they both have to be happening. So to show what's happening here on a number line, for the left hand side we have y is less than or equal to 3 so that would be everything to the left of 3 and on the right hand side we have y is greater than or equal to negative 3 so that's going to be everything to the right of negative 3 and since this is an AND statement that means both of these things have to be true y has to be both less than or equal to 3 and greater than or equal to negative 3. So an AND statement means both of them are true between these two values. So to graph this, it would be values between negative 3 and 3. And since we have the OR equals possibility, these endpoints would be solid dots. So we are including 3 and negative 3. So if you're looking for just a procedure to solve inequalities with absolute values, keeping this in mind will allow you to use a reliable procedure to solve an absolute value inequality.